Vid like a V, Danny Boy here, and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2 on the UK map. Now, we unlocked something in the last one. Uh, a few people noticed it. Uh, as you can see, or if you didn't know, we're down here at London. Well, this is the south end of London. So this is where our Eurostar is going to depart, and that's the train we unlocked. Uh when we came to the year 2000 which was nice now I know a few people have been looking forward to this episode and I was actually looking forward to it myself uh, the station is pretty long we should fit one in here maybe not the longest one but definitely one that is quite large but I don't think this is gonna be much of an episode really because all we're really doing is we're going to pop out this way. Probably upgrade that to high speed track. And then at some point we're going to have to branch out here and go underground. Now I can't bring it above ground here. Because well there's a mountain there. And it would have to go up and then come all the way down to get under here. Now the problem is as well at France... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I need to build a tunnel. Wow. Why did you build this right in here? Uh, yeah, so it's 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 going to be above ground for a very, very short time. Now, I'm not sure entirely how deep the water is in the channel. I mean, I could look it up in real life. That is something we could possibly do. Uh, but we're going to want this to go down. And I don't know why, but for some reason I would like to start this at this side. Now, can you go... Where do you start to tunnel? I'd like it to be above land. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Right, just do that. Yeah, yeah, so we're going to have to do that. Right. See, it's just there's not very much and I don't think this is going to take me that long I thought it was going to take me an entire episode now I'm going to flatten this out for the moment then I want to experiment yeah it's definitely going to have to go down again that is something it's going to have to do and it's probably going to have to go down even more so all right there we are we're into the water okay now, how far or how deep is this water? Let's have a look. Yeah, it's pretty deep. So... <laughs> right, what I'm going to try and do is... Let's try an experiment. So, sea level's about there. Uh, go down. Oh, we can actually go down a fair bit. Right, so that's going to cost like 300,000. Uh, so can we take it up a touch? Right, so that's it down at its lowest point. And we know that will work, right? So let's take it up one. Still works there. And there's still quite a, a large... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so do that. Have it go flat to there. Right, there is a tunnel. We know that tunnel works. So we are going to have to. This is going to have to go under quite a fair bit. I'm going to take it as far back as this road. And there's a lot of vehicles heading out there. Connect to that. Right, so there is a connection. And it is connected. There's the Concord. Head in now, now. Don't go. Just go flat, please, my friend. Yeah. And then head out that way. Okay, we're starting to lose our actual, our actual tunnel. So we'll take that down a touch. Right, and then can I start heading it up? I think I actually can. And I probably should. Right, so I'm going to take it up. Like, that way as much as possible. 
It's still going up. It's still going up. It is still going up. And it pops out somewhere around about here. So that's probably okay. We'll see. Right, so I probably should have its own separate line come across here like so. Go flat. Right, and then I'll try and feed it into this other line, which I think I should be able to do. I mean, really, I just want this to pop out like so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So go out that way. Yeah, probably head out like that or something. That's probably the easier option. At least I can get it into a depot. Or from a depot. From there. I just have to catenary up those lines. Now, I've had trains have issues in the past. Well, hold on. Don't take it from that side, actually. Take it from this side. Yeah, we go around there. Right, lots and lots of buildings are being removed. This road over here is pretty catastrophic. I might upgrade that as well. Right, take this back. Because we're going to have to start our tunnel roughly about here. Now that other tunnel is on the left hand side, right? I'm assuming so. So, start heading down. Come on, give me a tunnel before this section. Yes, nice. Okay, right. And then you turn out of there. And then. So pull this off. Alright, still going under, still going under. Go to there. Do that, actually. That looks more Euro tunnel ish. that. So it's basically quite large. Oh, that's... Is that snapped? It is. Can I still build when it's underwater? I can. Right, that's extremely useful. This would have been a nightmare in a transport fever numero uno. Connect up to there, please. Yeah, I want those tunnel entrances to be the new tunnel entrances. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Now it did ask me, previously, what kind of tunnel entrance I wanted. And the two tunnel entrances each side were pretty much built. This one was built, and the one over here was built. Are you, you're not interfering with that other line, right? You're underneath that? Oh, way, way, way underneath that. It's fine. Right, weirdly, the game is portraying the track like it is above. Uh, this train, I've noticed, this train right here has been stuck for a very long, very long time. Right, get me the edge of that because I've been building this while the game is in has been playing right no 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 I want that yes wait is it not gonna I actually did right that's fine okay so this should now be a thing that works possibly we'll have to check it and make sure what are you going in for? Are you going in for sand? Because I don't think there's that much sand actually waiting for you. There's a lot of fuel. I could potentially start throwing fuel to somewhere else. Maybe even France. That's something we could possibly do in this episode. Yeah, I think I could get... Is the dock connected to that? No. The dock is not connected to that. 
I could possibly get another dock. Uh, wait a second. Wait a second. Yeah, I could get another dock over here that's at least connected to that. This thing is going at the full speed, we'll see. Right, so this here is our katana raid line. And then it can head out this way. That will be gone by the time the train comes out. Alright, it then needs to move on at some point to this line up here. So I think I'm going to katanary this section. And then right then I'll move it onto there. Okay. Okay, it hates that, hates it. No, it doesn't mind it. Okay, let's upgrade that and that and this before I forget. So it can now push over. Okay, and then let's do this section, that section. Can I get this all in one go? Nearly. And that, and that, right, that is Katana Raid, so it can now get from the depot out to here. Nice. Right, I left all this Katana Raid as well, because I don't like messing with these modded stations after the fact. I'd rather have Katana Raid everywhere in a station and be running diesel trains out of it than need the Katana Raid later on and have it crash because because I'm an idiot and I didn't think about that prior. Now, are you actually using this platform? That's something I should have checked. Uh, you're not using this platform. I could throw whatever this is. No, I can't. It's going to shade a platform. Screw it. You're going on that left-hand side platform. <laughs> so, uh, right, that is a thing that needs to happen. So, signal. Oh, closer signal is there. Okay. Have one there. Have that stop there. Ooh, placing signals under here is going to be fun, right? Or, is, I mean, I know both freight and passengers. Well, I know at least the there's the passenger train and there's the one that takes cars and trucks, etc. And I think freight passes under as well. I mean, the thing is, passing freight under a tunnel like this is extremely, I would say, extremely dangerous. Well, given on what it's actually transporting, combustible materials, combustible fluids, would they send that under the channel tunnel? Probably safer to send it by ship above. I mean, I remember back in the days when Channel Tunnel first, or the Euro Tunnel first started, and you had all these trucks that were <laughs> bursting into flames while they were in one of the back compartments of the uh, the Eurostar that took the took the road vehicles, and then you always seen photos of it appearing at the other side, stopped at the other side. And one of the compartments was a blaze because a truck had randomly caught fire, which was weird. Right, so that is done. I'm assuming this is all katana raid. But yeah, what the does the passenger train have its own dedicated line? I have actually been on Eurostar when I was a kid. It was actually pretty fun. Uh, <laughs> I've been on the ferry as well from Dover to Cali, and that 
even for someone who grew up grew up around like fishing boats and ships and stuff yeah that wasn't fun I was like five hours or something I mean it was okay as a kid you could sort of run around the boat and it was kind of fun but I much preferred the train uh, when we went on that and that was exclusively a train journey oriented trip we actually got the the sleeper or which is now the Caledonian sleeper from Aberdeen down to London jumped on the London Underground to St Pancras St Pancras station is that what it is now or that's what it was I probably butchered the name of that I can't remember it's been so long since I've actually mentioned that station and then we got on Eurostar to uh, to the old Paris there and it was really nice and then after that we jumped on a TGV down to the south of France and that was nice we then got the TGV back to Paris and then jumped on Italy's TGV for uh, go to Belgium ah oh, no was it Italy's no I think that was from Amsterdam to Belgium and I didn't actually do that I can't remember what train we went on uh, from uh, Paris that time. My memory's drawn a complete blank. The time I was on the tallies with it was uh, with work. We actually flew over Amsterdam and got the tallies up to Belgium to a land job there, which was kind of weird because it was in the middle of right in the middle of this this town, and uh, the the job site we were on. What they had done is found a pocket of gas. Uh, like shale gas and it was underneath a hospital and it was becoming super unstable so they wanted the gas removed and the the cavern that the gas was in filled up so that's what we did it wasn't actually for production or process it was just uh, they wanted they wanted the gas gone but the fact that it was so close to a hospital just made it the health and safety there was super brutal which i suppose is good in its own way because it was near a hospital you don't want a gas site near a hospital going sky high that would be super bad but that yeah, was nice it was a nice little town it was summer the weather was amazing uh right so we are going eurostar just name it eurostar rlp euro star and we'll name it all Eurostar, right, that's my version, that's the better version, Eurostar, right, and then it's going to leave from here, and I'm just going to take the chance that everything is super duper katanaried, and we're all good to go, that is the risk we are running, I built this for reasons, and I <laughs> still haven't used it yet, Right, give me depots, because if I select the wrong depot here, it won't come out on a katana raid line. So, one, two, three. Go that one. Right, buy a vehicle. Uh, electrical multiple units. Now, there are three different versions. The three capitals. The short set is, I think, the one we are wanting. So add that. This is 423 meters. Uh, go away. This one is 259 meters. So that's a better candidate. Last one, North London set. Add. It's 341 meters now, but what size is this I'd love a look at details terminals charts overview yeah but how long are you now the only thing what's that plane doing aircraft one France to London was just sort of frozen in midair there 
Right, so the easiest way I've found of doing this. Now, I say easy. I've had this cross the game several times. Select that. I think this is a 320. Spin you round. Spin it round over there. In fact, is this longer? It's a 400. I think it is. I think it is definitely longer. See how laggy it is? Because it's trying to place this sort of everywhere. Maybe by pushing pause, we could free up a few. Wow, it's even longer than that. Oh no, spin you around the other way. Spin you around that way. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. So that's a four. This is a four hundred and eighty meter long station. So did I go in and change this? Click on that, right? It is. It's a it's a four hundred an 80 meter long station so we can actually use the long one right do we want to use the long one possibly uh, so we'll one two three in by all right so the long one is the three capitals right Add that it's 423 meters Let's test it. So you are going on RLP. What's this? Why are you a different color? Who knows? <laughs> you restart. Right. Is there anything in red? No. Right. The moment of truth is upon us. Let's go and have... I'll look at this. Alright, super laggy because we're beside London, unfortunately. Right, now that I know, I think it's having a signaling issue, and that's why it can't leave the depot. Or it could just be that it's super long and it's taking its sweet ass time to get out. Alright, let's have a look at this thing. Yeah, oh, there's even a dude in it. At some point, this guy is going to be in his Eurostar. He's going to be in the Channel Tunnel heading from France to London, and then a helicopter is going to come along into the tunnel. Ethan Hunt is going to jump out on his window and he's going to be like, oh my god. <laughs> and the helicopter's going to crash into the front of the train. He's going to have a bad day. But hopefully he'll be at that side of the train if he's heading the other way. <laughs> I mean, what? That train on Mission Impossible 1 was supposed to be Eurostar, right? But it looked different. It was like was it like TGV or was it like an unlivery train? I can't remember. This thing is super long. So where's is there like first is there a difference here? Is there first class and stuff? When I went on it, I was in I was in peasant class. But we had a had a table. Uh like the four seats and a table, so that wasn't too bad. There's the buffet car. If you ask me, right, trains that are this long should have two buffet cars. See if you're right at the end of a train. Even the ones that go Aberdeen, uh, London, London, Edinburgh, the 125s and whatnot. 
if you're walking from the end of them to get to the I understand that the buffet or the restaurant car is near first class so that they don't have to walk that far because they've probably paid a fortune for their better seat I mean recently with the work when we used to travel down the hall we always went first class because you were always guaranteed pretty much guaranteed your seat no matter what none of this uh there's a carriage was broken so it got removed from the consist and now everyone at the back of the train it's a free-for-all for your seat so but man if you were here and you had to walk all the way at the buffet car oh that would suck you'd be in france by the time you got there There we go, that looks nice. It is super long. I can just see the edge of the train in the distance. I actually watched a video about these the old Eurostars at the like over at the France end, the ones that they'd sort of mothballed. And obviously like the vandals had come in and smashed all the windows and spray painted them and stuff like that. And then water had gotten into them, lots of moisture, and they were just... They were left there in sort of decent nick and then they just got destroyed over time. This thing is picking up speed fast. You might need to slow down there, my friend. You are in a high traffic area. Now, are you going to get into the station, or is the train that goes to Wales going to get in there before you? It's pretty impressive that already this train is doing 86 miles per hour. Now, we're getting severe frame issues here, because we are near London, and the train is going so quickly. It will possibly iron itself out by the time we get to, or start heading towards Cali. I should probably rename Kali as Paris, right? That's probably a thing that one should do. Right, and then you're gonna pop in here. Right, your platform is free. Right, the moment of truth. Does this thing actually fit in here? So, in fact, I think frames might be slightly smoother, yeah, if we jump on board with it, it runs slightly better. Right, we're getting a super annoying auto save now. But yeah, the station is super long. Which is nice. Uh, no floating peeps either. Everyone's feet is firmly planted on the ground. Everyone is sort of walking normally and that that sideways matrix walk we do still have this lump there used to be oh wow there's actually spare room for this right so come out of there push pause wow it truly is 480 meters ha huh. no way okay so no one is going to get on this yet there isn't even a commuter route over at the other station so we'll probably we've got some trams i think we should upgrade the trams in Cali to the the skoda the skoda t and then and then we'll get a bus route set up for it but on its inaugural journey nine people got on it it carries 336 people which is a lot. And this will probably more than likely cannibalize the the train route. Ah, the train route, the plane route. 
Right, so we're actually, we're actually all good for Katana Raid. It looks like this is looking fine. I mean, I might actually jump on board. Because it's going to be going in a tunnel, and then all we're going to see is... Well, all we're going to see is the sea. And then it starts heading down. It's already up to 60. What speed? I maybe should have downloaded the, like, the the actual concrete track, like the, the kind of concrete track you get for Shinkansen and other high-speed trains. I can't remember off the top of my head what the top speed of this is. I'm sure it's something like 160 for the track. There we go, it's up to 91. I would imagine we're still technically under land. I mean, I've no idea if we're under sea. I mean, it'd be cool if we could change up the textures of the inside of tunnels. Because this looks like an old brick tunnel, but... Euro tunnel's probably more concrete. Right, I think here we're now under the ocean. Or under the sea. Under the channel. It's doing 120. 121. I think we're actually, I think we're actually under land, or when we hit these signals we'll be under land, on the France end, 128, 129, yeah we're heading up so we're basically under, we're through the channel. So it's, I keep seeing light at the end of the tunnel. And then we're there. That is a super short journey. Because the train is so incredibly fast. Right, then you go over this road. Which probably wouldn't be a thing. Or would it? And then into your platform. Holy crap, that was really fast. Almost 130 miles per hour. Which is awesome. I don't know why this has been renamed as Helston Station, but uh, it should be Carly Station. There are a few people waiting. I've just had a terrorizing thought. Now, I don't know if you guys have had the same terrorizing thought, but... So this train is something odd meters, but this station is not. Ah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it can handle the 488 one side, but not the other. Can I even extend that station out past? I can extend it out past 320. Okay, 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 right. Hold on, hold on, because this is gonna, this is gonna look stupid if we leave it like that. Get me tracks, please. Do that. Uh, Katanari, yes. Now come on, game, because I need you. I need that to be able to go back on its other line. Right, the train has disappeared. Right, we'll have to do a bit of a. Uh, Better work here. We're definitely gonna have to delete that road. It's kind of annoying because I, I like that road there, but hey, oh, oh, it popped itself onto the right platform. <gasps> well, we could just do that every time. Just edit a bit of track, and then it'll be totally fine. There's bus lane out here for some reason. All right, you exit the station, please. I would have loved it if there was a car here. I would have jumped on board with a car. I thought it was a car there, but it's a shadow. Shadow from a tree. Right, now. Okay, this is going to be... 
interesting. So the train was like well... We'll see about this house here, right? So, now we'll pause the game because this is going to create absolute havoc. There we go, there it is. Super upset because we've deleted stuff. Alright, sorry people. Sorry to you as well. Sorry all these residents right here. Are you... I should have left that. Well, where that bush is, is where we are aiming for. Right, configure, platforms, passenger. Here goes nothing. One. Two, three, four, and yeah, that's it. That is as far as we can extend out the way. So, uh, probably 340, 360 meters or something. So, what I need to do, possibly, is get. I mean, right, if I delete that, I don't really need these two platforms over here, right? They are not a thing we'd acquire. And I've noticed that sometimes the limit on how big you make a station is how much uh, sort of assets it's got built into it. So by deleting some of this, it might, might let me extend this out. It might not. No. No, no, no. That's it. That's all she wrote. Can't extend it any further. Hmm. Well, well. Just have to put in the smaller one. Uh, Katanari that up then. So let's do a slight, but this now looks strange. It's okay though. Right. And I'll try and fit a diamond in there. Right, where, where's your snap point? There. Okay. No, it's about there. Alright, come on. Go out to there. I know this will work. So there, across to there. Wait. There it was. I just saw it two seconds ago. There. Ooh. So place that there. I'll then try and get a road. That crosses over there, like so, and... You go in there. Okay, so what length is this? Let's do this again, but we'll take standard station. Whoa, whoa, standard station is there. Hello. Right, so that, 320, so yeah, it's probably 320 plus however long. Three hundred and twenty, and we'll say like an extra platform is like 20 odd meters, so... <clears throat> is it, or is it an extra 30 meters? Right, hold on. What I'm going to do is build that, right? Let's do a bit of math. Configure that. Uh, platforms, right. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 320 divided by eight is four. So, 40 meters each. Is that right? 320 divided by 8 
It's 40, right? 320 divided by 40 equals 8. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ah, oh, I was right. Why did I doubt myself there? Uh, right, so. 40 meters, so at 360, 400. So this thing, the current train, is roughly 20 meters too long. 23 meters too long. Okay, right. Replace selected vehicle. Okay, so the three capitals is slightly too long. The short set was 200 and something. Let's go with the London, north of London set. That's 341. Replace. Right, I don't know what the difference is. 256 is probably a better capacity as well. Right, where are you, my friend? Well, we're not going to be able to see it. We'll see how fast or how long it actually takes to be underwater. Not long, I think. So she's definitely underwater now. And then under she goes. In real life, there would be like about a billion boats sailing across here. If you've ever been on a ship that has passed through the channel, it's ridiculous. I used to be on a. We used to go on a, the ship that went uh, from Aberdeen, and it used to head down and go round the coast. And it actually loaded up in Aberdeen and went all the way down to the Ivory Coast. And then at the end it went into Gran Canaria because it was getting a, it was getting a refit. So it went to the shipyard there. But starting Aberdeen and came down. Passing through the channel was like, it's really cool. Especially at night. This was at night when this happened. There were so much ships in that shipping lane. It's, it's unreal. But it's cool. It's a cool sight to actually see. Right, so we're back. Underland is doing 105. It is 13 million quid down. Almost well, 14 million quid down. So she is expensive to run, definitely. What do you look different from the other one? You kind of look the same. going super fast here you can't tell that it's going super fast here because it's so laggy down here beside London but yes it is going super fast here <laughs> right and then back in we go how much money did you make for delivering 11 people Albeit, this station here is not a very popular station. Like, there's hardly anyone waiting to go anywhere. There are 54 for the Channel Coast Line, 14 for the Eurostar. It is quite a new line. One might say. But yeah, the, these bus routes here do not do as well. Right, how much money did you make for dropping off 11 people? Albeit you got them there like ridiculously fast. 428,000. And then this time around you are taking 15? 16. Okay. Right, let's abandon our Eurostar for the moment. And then we'll set up a bus lane or bus line over here. And you know what? I might even, well. This ferry, this, uh, this, these things actually do well, which is odd. This one's down at the moment, which is fine, I suppose. No issue with that. Uh, right. Yeah, let's set up a bus route for this. Now, call a transfer. So we built that. For some reason, we've just 
Just never used it. So where does the actual original tram go? Right, we set up that as well, but there's no passenger service goes from there. So I would imagine the tram right now goes around here, it does, and then it heads down there. So do we create another route? And perhaps have it go in like a square? I mean, this is not really encompassing anything currently at the moment. All this stuff in the center, but nothing really here on the, the sort of outskirts. So what I might do is just create a bus route for this. Right, so have, no, have you go down that way, yes. And then get like another one here, yes. And then why is our tram over there doing that weird, weird loop? Uh, why are you doing that weird loop? So this is Queensway. Go to that side. <laughs> okay, now it's not doing that weird loop, but I want to upgrade these. So, manage vehicles. Select, replace with uh, the Skoda. Replace. Apply. There we go, a couple of Skodas there. Right, I don't really need to finish off that bus route because this encompasses a lot of stuff down here. In fact, have it. Uh, tracks that have it go this way as well. Okay, right. New line. So go there. There. Yep. There is a bus there, at least doing something. I think that's the airport shuttle. And then go there. Maybe get something over here as well. Yeah, add that. Uh, go back to my bus route. Uh, it's a truck station, this new line, manage line, add a station, go out there, <coughs> go there, yeah, go there, but then head back around this way. And we'll make this yellow. Now, do I have a Kali com? I do. So I'm going to name this. Actually, I'm going to name this Eurostar.com. Right, so that is now a thing. There's my DHL. Bad lad coming in there. Right, buses. Passengers. I like these. Now, I don't know what this Z is. Zagreb. Promet. Split livery. Single color. You know what? Hmm, let's check. What else have we got? Right, we've got a lot of stuff here. Mars, Plaxton Pointer, GPT Volvo 500. Uh, these are all. Maybe even one of these. Nah. In fact, go with these, right? Go with them. Get me an R1. Bye. Get me an R2. Bye. There we go. Set their maintenance for high and set them on Eurostar Commuter. 
which is down here somewhere, which is up here somewhere. EXE Eurostarcom. Or did I type that as Eurostar? What did I type that? <laughs> Euro Eurostar. Yeah. Spelling's a bit off today. My math was on point earlier, but spelling was off. Right. So they're heading out. There we go. First bendy bus. Everybody loves a bendy bus. Except for me, because I hate them. Uh, and there's this Volvo. Well, they're both Volvos. This one's in... Oh, you've just crashed into a lamppost. Oh! What was that? Is this truck going to do the same? Truck avoided. Yeah, there's a ramp. You did not handle ramp too well there, my friend. And, ooh, <laughs> that's bad. Oh, well, it's heading for Shirley Road. There's the DHL plane in the background. So you're heading for, or near, on the station, right? Oh, this guy is in. Right, so we've got our Eurostar up and running. It looks like it fits in here now, just. But we'll leave it there for that episode. As always, if you did watch this and you would like to leave a like, comment, or dislike, please feel free to do so. And if there is more you'd like to see in the future, then hit that subscribe button. I've been Danny Boy, this has been Transport Fever 2 on the UK map, and I will catch you later.